What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today is a beautiful summer day and we're at this little river here and we're gonna try to find some crawfish. I haven't done a crawfish catch and cook in my video yet. Um, I have a good recipe, a delicious one for these little crawfish. So let's go see if I can find some. Water's, uh, the water's pretty cold. That's not too bad once you get in. Let's see here. Any crawfish under there? I don't see anything yet. Oh, it's nice over here. Look at this. Ooh, nice big open space. Wow. All right, I'm gonna move my stuff over here and I'm just gonna swim around, set a, a crawfish trap in there somewhere and just swim around and look for them. I'm sure there's gotta be some in here. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff. Be right back. All right, this area right here is much deeper and uh, you can see it's a little murkier, but I think we'll be able to find them still. So I'm gonna just go dive in there and uh, see if I can find any. And if I do see some, then I'll set a trap down in there. You know I got that YBS. Woo, woo. All right, let's try this. I wasn't expecting to see all those big fish. <laughs> I just went to the bottom. It's only like maybe six, seven feet. And see all those big fish? I don't know what they were. They kind of look like carp, but not carp. Like a little mix of carp and trout. Let's go. Let's check again. Yeah, they do. They do look like carp. Uh, haven't seen any crawfish though. Let's keep looking. I used to catch a lot of crawfish when I was a kid, but I haven't, haven't caught any in a long time. <laughs> I was going to, in to grab them, but I wussed out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm gonna put a trap down there because there's a lot and there's some big ones too. So uh, yeah, let's get the trap set up. So I have this crawfish trap right here. Um, it's got holes on both ends, got a zipper, and I have some cat food. So we'll just toss that in and we'll put this right at the bottom of that area and uh, yeah, we'll catch some crawfish. I'm just gonna open it just a little bit, just like so. And I'll put this in here. Yeah. Only see, whoa, 
Bring it over. Yeah, this one got nice claws. Whoa! <laughs> it's got like some blue on there. Yeah. That's fun. All right, well, we're gonna get a bunch of these <laughs> and eat them. And those fish, what are those fish? Are they carp or what? Are they? they look like a weird carp. I wonder if we're allowed to catch them and eat them. So maybe next time, if we are allowed, catch and cook those fish. I don't know. Now I'm gonna go get the trap. It's only been maybe 30, 40 minutes, but I think there's plenty in there. Oh, that's a little too much. <laughs> Well, the trap worked well. I'll just dump them all here. There's one more. <laughs> or two. Okay, I'm gonna bust out the firebox today. Haven't used this in a while. And the crawfish right here. And you can see that I put them on ice and that puts them straight to sleep so we can prep them and just cook them up. Oh, and this is a, oh, this is the good stuff. This is gonna be part of the, part of the dish. All right, I got my wok. I'm gonna heat them up. A little oil. All right, got some ginger here. I'm gonna toss that in. Got a couple of big garlic cloves. Oh, that is already smelling so good. Crawfish going in. I'm gonna steam them a little. So I'm going to add a touch of water, get them steaming. Yeah, they're moving a little bit, but they're, they're dead in seconds. All right, it's probably about halfway cooked right now. So now I'm going to start adding the seasoning. Just regular soy sauce. Drench that. Nice coated soy sauce. A ton of chili flakes. And I also have my special chili flakes. These are uh, Thai chili flakes that I dehydrated. And one of these goes a long way. So I'm just gonna put one, crush it up. Oh. Man, even the smell, like it smells so good when you dehydrate Thai chilies, so good. I would highly, highly recommend it. I use this with a lot of stuff. 
good. Okay, brown sugar. And uh, 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 let's see. Yeah, that's a half a quarter cup right there. Now I'm gonna mix them up, toss them up. I'm also gonna add a couple bay leaves as well. I'm also gonna add some lemon slices. There we go. And we're almost done here. One more thing we're gonna add to this is the whiskey. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Here we go. burning there you go a little flambe action it's not as exciting outside because it's too bright you can't see it as much I just want the liquid to burn off a bit and uh, we're done. Mm, maybe a little more sugar. Mm, it's a good flavor. I'm gonna put a little more sugar. It's done. So I had a little weird idea. It was just gonna be this as the dish, but before I came, I had some noodles and I figured I'm gonna add some noodles. And then I thought, well, I'm not gonna cook the noodles. I'm gonna have them crunchy. Like, you know, when you're a kid, you eat the instant noodles like a snack. So I have some right here and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna crush them up just roughly. Not too small, I kind of want them chunky in there. And check it out. I'm going to add the noodles in. Might be weird, but I'm sure it'll taste good. And I'm just going to mix that in. So all the, the noodles just absorb all that sauce. Mm-hmm. Check that out. Look at that right there. Woohoo! Hey, 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 you gonna eat already? Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Alright, it's done. Let's eat. We got this summer session, summertime IPA. Oh, perfect. Summertime IPA. I got chili guava. Oh, this walk is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> my wrist. I've tried cooking on it before. I'm just like, what am I supposed to? <laughs> yeah, it's heavy, huh? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. You know, what? I'm going to start with a little bit of noodle. Me too. I already know it's good. Mm. Nice and glazy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. A little more lemon juice. Mm. These crunchy noodles are so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, huh? Mm -hmm. And look at these crawfish, man. These are nice and glazed on there. Like glazed, glazed. Twist, twist, pull. 
Um, there you I go. I haven't crawfished in like a year, so I kind of forgot mm. what I'm doing. You gotta suck the head. Whoa. A lot of flavor. Mm. And you pull the tail out. Oh, that's spicy. Little crawfish tail. <laughs> nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so soft. Let's see. I want the big claw guy. Let's see if there's a claw. I can get some claw meat out of there. Oh, yeah, that's a big claw. There should be some meat in there. Oh, yeah, that's a good amount of meat in here. It's like a crab. Awesome. Ooh, Look at that. Use the claw itself to pry them out. Oh, yeah. You want that? Claw meat? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. I can just use uh, one of the crawfish Scoop it. <laughs> as a spoon. There we go. That's my spoon. Mmm. The flavor is spicy. It's sweet. It's tangy from the lemons. And it's got this, the, 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 the flavor of the, the crawfish. Like a, almost like a crab, right? It's probably closer to lobster, I guess. Mm. I would say the texture is close to lobster. Huh. Yeah, because it's pretty soft, right? Mm -hmm. It's got a nice soft texture, but it still also has a sh little stringiness to it. It's like very flaky, huh? Yeah, it's flaky, huh? Noodles and a tail. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Not only do the flavors complement each other, these different textures, you get the crunchy and then the very soft tail of the, uh, I was going to say lobster, uh, of the crawfish. Oh man, it's so good. So good. Ooh, that is a win. That's a good day. It's a good day, huh? Yeah. Went for a little hike, mm -hmm. went for a little swim. And had delicious crawfish mm -hmm. to finish it off. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching as always. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace.